is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at this 500 S and P 500 price to sales ratio sent to me from the folks at the Elliott Wave Theorists through the auspices of the offices of MRRR up in the wonderful state of Washington. Anyway, you'll notice here that the high from the dot com bubble was 2.36. The high from the uh, top in 2008, it was 1.71, and now we're at 3.11. These are all-time highs never seen before. Price to sales ratio, and also earnings to sales ratio. Both of those numbers have never been this high in the S&P. This is where we get the valuations and why prices they should be here because sales and all this stuff is going up. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because markets move those. So I wanted to sh uh, take. A couple charts here that I think are pretty important. One is from uh, Thomson Reuters, and this was long before. I used to use Reuters years ago when before we had charts all the time. But here is the Thomson Commodity Index, and I, I wanted to bring it to your attention for several reasons. You'll see the ABCD patterns that are there. But if you'll notice on the far right there, as the top was being made, I've put a great green dotted line there showing the three drives to a top pattern. And uh, this could mean that, you know, these commodities have uh, maybe reached a peak. And, boy, the grains are certainly acting like it. They're not nearly as strong as they should be, you know, given all the fundamentals. And the same thing with gold and silver. Why are gold and silver, you know, lagging so badly when we have things like Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and all these other things that are going to the moon, yet no one's interested in the uh, in the gold market so uh, i think we need to pay attention to that that it may mean something you know longer term so we'll we'll visit that another day of course okay now one other one that i think is uh, relatively important here is the what's happening now with the u.s dollar i want to walk you through this because we've been watching this very very closely if you'll remember here we had this uh, three drive to a top pattern then we had the market come down, and then we made a double top, and then we had a nice four-day pullback, stopping exactly at the 50% retracement. That was the area where we said, if you want to get short the euro, look for that. And we got a nice, I think, a 60-point uh, rally in the euro to get you short, and now we're moving like this. Now, this is what this is setting up for, folks, because we've cleared the 78% level uh, with a lot of ease. So. What this pattern is suggesting is what should happen next is that we're going to see a move in the U.S. dollar where we start going up here to this uh, 93.76 level. That's going to take out the high from March, okay? But something interesting has already happened, folks. Let me show you what that is. If you have an interest, stay tuned. This might be it. <laughs> Hold on just a second here. Let's get up here and take a look at this. This is the euro on a weekly basis, and we've been waiting for this for quite some time. We've now broken down below that March low. Now, look where the U.S. dollar is. U.S. dollar is far, far away from that. That means some of these other currencies are actually holding up relatively well versus the euro, but the euro is not. We broke down below that uh, coveted one. So we're right at that 117 level. We're ready to break that at any time. That brings us down about another 150 pips to make that ABCD at the roughly 115 uh, one, yeah, 115.50. Let's call it 115.50. So that's 150 pips to the downside. So watch that very, very closely because that would make the S and the dollar index get up into that area of about 94. So that's it. People that have been calling for the death of the dollar are uh, wondering what's happening, but that's the way it's going right now. Considering the bonds where they are and notes where they are, I don't have any idea why the U.S. dollar should be where it is. But boys and girls, that's where it is. So that's what you have to expect. Because, uh, you know, if you stop and think of what the government is doing with borrowing all this money and putting it out with funny money, there's no reason why the dollar should be that strong. And, and, and in fact, the, the gold should be much, much higher based on the old days. But 
we live in interesting times, folks. It's the old Chinese curse, but that's exactly what's happening. So you got to follow what the charts are telling you. That's pretty much it. So keep your uh, keep your options open. That's all I can tell you. Now, I had some questions about what I'm going to be doing tomorrow on the uh, all day trading session. I'll get up here. This is what my charts will look like for tomorrow. What I do is I set this up. And I'm going to be, I look at 15 minute charts because that'll give us plenty of time, you know, to find some really good patterns to look at. And I would like for you to look at the gold. That's the second column over on the bottom where it says QGCZ. You'll notice here we have some really nice ABCD patterns here. We had two nice setups today, one at the 78% level at 1794, and then a beautiful ABCD buy at the uh, 1782 so those are the kind we're looking at we'd be watching bonds we'll be watching the euro natural gas the s p uh soybeans uh, soybean oil and of course crude oil which also if you look at the uh, third one over from the gold you'll see a beautiful three drive to a top pattern up there at 67.23 that had well over a thousand dollars in it in just a matter of time. Now, we've done three of these in the past. They've all been profitable days. I can't make any guarantees, of course, but we're going to do our best to show you the patterns that we're using and how we use them and put everything together using the things that uh, I've learned over the last uh, 61 years of trading. I know it's uh, hard to believe that it's been this long. I, uh, John Hill just turned uh, 95 the other day. He's in a nursing home now in uh, Hendersonville, North Carolina, and uh, unfortunately his his uh, mind, his facilities have uh, d diminished quite a bit, so he doesn't remember me or just about anybody else, but he's in good health. He's uh, able to walk around and everything, but it, his memory has slipped uh, quite a bit. But the main thing I wanted to mention, is this all started for me basically in 1970 up in San Francisco at the Hearst meeting when they were talking about all these cycle stuff. And, the, you know, the profit magic of stock transaction timing. And he was an engineer and they were using, uh, I forget all those big terms they were using, <laughs> but uh, I, I was a little confused and I was standing in the lobby there and uh, standing there was my friend uh, Peter Elides and, uh, and Larry Williams. And they were talking to this gray haired fellow and it was John Hill. And I, he, this guy made sense to me. And basically I got to have lunch with him and then he sat down on a piece of paper there and showed me A, B equals C, D. And he got that right out of his old book that he wrote, the uh, Commodity Trend Analysis book that, that we'll be talking about tomorrow. And uh, that's what moved me on to what I'm doing now because I keep it as simple as possible. I don't use any oscillators. I don't use any moving averages or anything like that. People can do that, and they are good at it. But for me, I keep it as just absolutely as simple as possible. I want to know where I am at any particular time, what my risk is on anything, and that that's what my edge is, and that's uh, that's what I that's what I try to do. Keep it simple, and that's what we're going to be doing. I've got about four PowerPoint presentations for tomorrow. Uh, one is relative. Well, one is new, and uh, that that will be mainly about fractals and Mandelbrot and stuff like that. But we'll we'll cover that a little bit later. Now, I wanted to bring. We have Stan Harley as our guest today, folks. Hopefully at the break. Uh, he's been very busy this week, as you can imagine, but he did want to come on today and uh, chat with us. And I think one of the things he wanted to bring to you is this chart on the advanced decline line. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to give you an example of how these fractals and these numbers sort of fit into what we think about. This is the Russell Index going over since March. I put in the large ABCD pattern there that you can see from March into June. The high that was made on uh, March the 15th, if you know that the high was made on the 6th of August, that was an exact 61% retracement. You can see that black line coming down from the high. That was the exact 61% retracement. But let's focus on what's happened yesterday and today. You notice yesterday the Russell broke down badly. And if you look at the blue line there where the 61% retracement is at 2162, you'll see that was the low of the day today. Let me explain to you when you're trading and you're you know looking at things short term to try to find how to enter the market. If you're expecting that to occur, hold on just to get this up here with a little bit of luck. And here is the luck coming in. You'll notice here that what the Russell did today was it came down and went exactly within a one point of the exact 61% retracement at 2162. The low was 2161 half. And we rallied 20 some handles, taking out the high of the 18th. That sets up a potential ABCD all the way up to 2204. Now it's still in a downtrend, but from a short term perspective, that's what you're trading against when you're against these algorithmic traders, folks. You think they don't know these numbers? Boy, they certainly do, because the market can't stop on these numbers, you know, by accident. They 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 just can't. And that's that's what we're trying to do is to use that as an edge and to see what's happened. I am actually not convinced that we've made a high yet. And the reason why is this market should be substantially lower after making you know, 44.73 uh, and then dropping all the way down to 47.16 or 44.16 and then snapping back, you know, uh, uh, 60, uh, 61 a little more than 61 percent of that. And not only that, but we had the Federal Reserve out there today and they always like to, you know, uh, chatter and whatever they want to do. But uh, this market is one thing that it is telling telegraphing ahead of time. Get ready for increased volatility, nothing like we've ever seen before. I, I think we've seen some stuff in the past that's been a little scary, especially with things with these GameStops and Hood and, and the, all the other things. But 
by golly, I think you're going to start seeing it in just about everything, and that's going to that's going to upset the apple cart for some of these uh, folks that are not prepared for it. So just get ready. Watch that VIX index, folks. That's a measure of implied volatility right now. It's only about 18, and we've seen it as high as 84 before. So uh, we'll expect to see volatility increase. That means your premiums on your puts and calls are going to get extremely high. So if you're a putter, call buyer. Try to ch look into the mirror and change your uh, uh, makeup a little bit and start to be an option seller because that's where the money is. Option sellers win about 85% of the time. Option buyers win about 15% of the time. Those are good odds. So try to learn to be an option seller. You'll be far better off than if you uh, try to buy options. It's okay to buy them occasionally because they get underpriced sometime, and that's it. Also, we want to uh, thank Ruby for uh, giving us a heads up on something that we hardly ever trade, and that is the coffee. But it was in the news because of the freeze. You'll notice we got up to 220. Then the market came all the way down to 175, and we said expect to see a 382 retra retracement, and eight days later, there it came in exactly at 190, and now we're trading at 182. That sets up a potential ABCD pattern all the way down to 155. So at least if you did that, you'd be in a very nice profitable position, and you certainly wouldn't want to lose any money on that trade. But that's how you want to try to set these up. Now, the charts that you see on 15-minute or 5-minute or 2-minute or weekly, daily, doesn't make any difference. All the patterns are the same. The ratios are the same. It's just the amount of risk that you have to take when you're dealing with a daily versus a weekly chart. There's a huge amount of difference that's there. What we're doing for, for, for tomorrow is look, we're going to be looking at dailies, of course, and we're going to look at a few stocks, but we're going to try to line up the patterns that we talk about every day here and, and show you that, yeah, you can do this. It just takes a little bit of practice, and you got to learn to do it with baby steps. And remember, folks, trading is 90% mental, and I flat, flat out believe that you know, more than ever. I, I used to challenge Mark Douglas about that. I thought it was more 50-50, but after working with him here in the office for a couple of years, uh, I, it's probably understated at 90%. It's it's that important. So we, we have to remember that when we're doing that, it's a thing that, that that's really important. Someone's asked a question about the euro. Uh, yes, it has broken major support, folks. That, that, that went, well, we've already broken it for sure. Now, whether this is a false breakout or not, we don't know, but what would happen is, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, wh what was that quote that Yogi Berra said? 80% uh, of the game is 50% mental or something like that. It was really funny, but I can't remember that. Whatever it was, another Yogiism. But I, I got to meet Yogi Berra uh, once in Las Vegas at a uh, old timers uh, golf tournament, and God, he was hilarious. But also got to meet Mickey Mantle, and that was a lot of fun. Okay, let's move on to a couple other things. Uh, people have asked me questions about the uh, the gold and silver. Folks, uh, silver is acting badly. We, we took our profits in the long silver yesterday, and uh, the gold has broken down a little bit. It hasn't broken down much. You can, you can see by the chart today we had a $17 move, which is the half of the harmonic number, which we'll be talking about tomorrow too. But uh, we, we have to do it a little bit at a time because when you're dealing with a contract that's worth $170,000, $180,000, you know, you got to get your risk down that's, uh, you know, uh, applicable so that you can, uh, you know, not risk an arm and a leg. Using a $2,000 stop like some people do to me is just not that much fun. So what I try to do is to, uh, you know, get down to a 15-minute chart so that I can uh, narrow the risk down a little bit. And of course, your profit objectives can still be pretty good, but at least you get your risk down to where it should be, and that's slower. And that's what this whole thing is all about. I, I think that's a, the key to remember. Also remember, folks, that the uh, the uh, the spy the let's just one second. I'm sorry, I got the wrong thing up here. I want to get up here one second here. Here is the uh, the chart on the Dow E Mini. That's why I think we might make one other high. It could be from the Fed saying something, but we could get about 150 to 200 points higher in that Dow Jones. The S and P uh, cash market has already made the uh, that was it. 
you know, it's already made its major target. The NASDAQ has certainly done that. And then it's also started to roll over a little bit, but it's still holding relatively well. It hasn't broken down. All of these come down to major support points and bounce right back. So they're not uh, they're not indicating that the market is not uh, is not turning. Now, we got as low as uh, 44, uh, 16, I believe, uh, 44. No, I think it was 44, 10 yesterday in the S&M, and we immediately rallied 40 handles. A, you know, a bear market doesn't rally 40 handles. It rallies to the 382 and then rolls over. So don't be surprised if we see another high. I don't know if we will or not. But and now now the Russell is acting pretty good. That's been the weak sister. Maybe the weak sister is going to you know, bring everybody else to the dance. I don't know. Anyway, we hope to have our good friend Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter coming up here in just a few minutes to talk to us about what he's seeing. And then also I'm going to try to get Tim Bost for a cameo appearance on Friday because he's nailed this thing to the absolute wall. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market day. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And with any luck at all, we have Stan Harley in the house. Stan, are you there? Hello, Larry. I am live and well. Ah, love to hear your voice, my friend. And I uh, hope everything's well with you and your family. 
Uh, Doing question, just awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good. The question that I have for you is your first chart is the S&P uh, weekly that uh, you want to tell us what you're looking at here. Yes, uh, we've got a chart here of the S&P 500. Um, Larry, I, I think uh, equity prices are lofty, and that's, uh, that's being generous. Um, I think we're very high, uh, and I think we're very close. We're right at a market high. It might have occurred on Monday or uh, within the next several days, but we're so close. Um, I think the markets are, are right at a pivotal high. They've run up substantially since uh, late October. The, uh, the nominal cycle uh, in the stock market on an intermediate term basis, I have found averages about 34 weeks, eight months. Sometimes that cycle contracts to six, six and a half. Sometimes it expands to 10 and a half, 11. I think uh, the one that's in play right now is on the expansion side. We're nine and a half months into the cycle. Uh, we are certainly in zone for a high. I wouldn't trade on that alone, though. But the, uh, the plethora of numbers, the Fibonacci, the Lucas relationships uh, from past high-low pivot points, tell me we are, we're right at a high. Uh, if that's the case, uh, then I would expect a, a move lower for the next couple of months. I would point out there's some divergences here. Uh, this week, we saw the Dow and the S&P uh, and the New York Com go to a record high. Uh, not so the Dow transports, as we're going to get into here shortly. Uh, not so the Russell 2000. Not so the New York uh, advanced decline line. So the divergences are out there, um, and that's how tops are generally formed. Intermediate highs are typically made. Wow, it's really, it's really interesting. Now, the question that someone's asked us about the advanced decline line. Uh, how how accurate has it been in the past, uh, Stan? Uh, I have very little experience with it because I don't do anything with stocks. But at bottoms, does it do pretty well? And does it the same as it does with tops? Well, the advanced decline line is a tool like any other tool. It's not that it's accurate or inaccurate. It's it's how does one interpret the data? Uh, generally speaking, the AD line tends to peak out ahead of the final cyclical high. That's not 100 percent, but uh, I'll bet it's probably 90 to 95 percent. So the uh, the AD line, by the way, peaked out uh, when you and I spoke out when you and I spoke several weeks ago. It peaked on July the 2nd. And here we are now, August 18th. So the AD line peaked out more than six weeks ago. And uh, the Dow and the S&P have crept modestly higher since then. What it's doing, it's just telling us that there is a divergence going on, that the popular averages, mm. as measured by the Dow and the S&P, are not uh, being corroborated by the advanced decline line and some other indices. So I put that in the mix, put it in the sifter, give it a good shake, and that tells me that the, the structure there is not supportive for a continued bull market advance. Mm. Well, you know, Stan uh, and I talked. To, Stan and I talked just the other day, and Stan said you had some really interesting statistics on COVID. Do you, do you want to share with the folks what you're looking at here, Stan? This is really interesting to me. A absolutely, and and Larry, the the COVID situation is just a just a real real tragedy for everyone that it, it has impacted. Um, fortunately, I have not been afflicted with it, um, but a lot of other people have. Uh, some people have mild uh, symptoms, some people get very sick, and then sadly, sadly, there have been many, many fatalities. Um, I uh, have wanted to do this for a long time. I finally spent the time, and I spent the entire weekend looking at this. Um, but I pulled down the COVID data from the CDC website, and what this chart on the screen is showing us is the daily trends in the number of COVID cases going back to the very first uh, in January when the CDC began compiling the data. And this is a daily count. And the peaks in the data occurred on April the 9th of 20 to 20, July 17th, 2020, the really, really high peak back on January the 8th, another peak on April the 9th, and then, uh, and here we are here in mid-August. So I sat down and cleaned off my glasses uh, did a very detailed uh, inspection of the data, and oh my gosh, I found a trend here um, that conforms to Fibonacci relationships. Um, the uh, the pattern 
uh, is certainly suggestive of an 89 week cycle, which is which is due to peak uh, in early October. And interestingly enough, the daily data tend to fluctuate with uh, with the peak and amplitude of 89 calendar days. Uh, the next the next chart shows my regression analysis of the data series. So I plugged in the peaks and found that there is a cycle based on the regression modeling. This is a mathematical te technique that finds the best mathematical fit to the data. And the, uh, and the analysis shows there's a peak-to-peak uh, a -peak cycle averaging 90.5 calendar days. Well, wow. you and I know Fibonacci numbers, and uh, it tells me it's in all likelihood 89. Uh, wow. Of course, that's very close to um, uh, 13 weeks. Uh, but I doubt seriously the virus knows that there are seven days in a week. <laughs> um, but the virus probably does know there are 89 solar cycles in the human species, and the virus is clearly fluctuating based on that 89 calendar day solar cycle. The virus knows. Um, and so you might scratch your head and think, really? Well, just look at the data. Clearly, there is a cycle fluctuating right near the 89 calendar day mark in the peaks in COVID and uh, infections. And the next peak, the seventh cycle from since data began, uh, occurs right around the 8th of October. Wow. So that tells me here we are in mid-August. Um, the COVID situation is not going to lessen. It's going to get worse for the next two months. It yeah. won't be straight up, but, uh, but I see COVID peaking out right in the first week in October and then and then and then turning down from that we'll have to, to see but sadly I see the situation getting worse uh, yeah. the fatalities will probably be less and so like looking at stock charts uh, I, I'm not laughing uh, no I'm, I'm not laughing at all no we, what we, I'm understand. Saying is we understand there will be a divergence that is no. my guess is we will have some kind of a double top maybe even a higher peak with the January mm -hmm. peak in the numbers and the fatalities will be less. That will be a divergence, uh -huh. just like looking at a looking at a uh, at stock charts, and that yeah. will mark the orthodox high, and that will be wow. exactly 89 weeks from when the pandemic began. Wow, this is great, Stan. I really enjoy this, and I know our folks was do too because the fact that it's in the news all the time, they're just constantly telling us, you know, that so many people are dying and, you know, very negative. Hey, Stan, thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on in a few weeks, and be safe, my friend. My pleasure. Stan Harley, folks, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, someone asked me to put up that chart of the gold that we were looking at uh, in the other segment that we first started talking about what we'll be looking at for tomorrow. I look at a 15-minute chart in gold because it moves, you know, five dollars $600 uh, easily, usually closer to 1000 Today, uh, from yesterday's high, $1,797, we dropped $18 right down to $1,779. That's the half of the harmonic number. And as you can see here on the far right here, since today, uh, when we first came in, you can see here we hit the 78% level up there at 1794. We came down right to the exact 786 at 1784. We rallied up $10 to the exact 786 to 1793, and that gave us the ABCD pattern down to the buy uh, down to the to the buy part at 1779. And that profit had a $800 profit on the downside, and now we have $700 profit on the upside. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but this is the kind of thing that I look at each day. And if you get used to using 15-minute charts, you just have to be uh, – just wait until, until you see the pattern complete. And if it doesn't complete, you don't have a pattern to work with. I – Another question that someone asked me uh, just over the weekend, I didn't know how to answer. Well, I do know how to answer it, but whether you're going to like the answer or not, I don't know. Why is it that I've shied away from Elliott Wave? Well, the main thing is, is that every time I was around these Elliott guys, Bill Miner and um, Glenn Neely and Bryce Gilmore, and Gilmore taught me more than anybody else. They were always focused on whether it was a three or a five or a two or a four. And all I did was I looked at A, B, C, D, and that's all I looked at. That's what I knew. That's what I understand. And that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at. Someone just pointed out to me. I missed one, folks. Hold on. Just to show you, since I'm talking here, someone just pointed out to me that I missed the biggest one of all. And that was this one right here. Let me bring this up to you. You'll be able to see we had a double A, B, C, D there uh, in the gold. So that confirmed that we were, you know, spot on right at the money. Now, if the re getting back to that question is, you know, the, the Elliot when he started, uh, Prechter, when he started doing this stuff, you know, he did it with Frost, Robert Frost. And uh, they took it right out of what Elliot did in 1938. And, uh, you know, he, they, they had a special, the little ABCD pattern is different than what I use. I use what came out of Gartley's book on page uh, 220, 249. And uh, that was basically the same fractal that Mandelbrot talks about in the father of fractal analysis is that seed pattern, which is the ABCD. And you see it here on this gold chart right here over the last two days. It's just been, uh, you know, pretty much spot on. It's just been, you had two beautiful ones, and you don't get them like this all the time. But now what you've done here, uh, see, we've got another, we've got another, we've got a tr trend lower now. You see, we have lower lows, okay, and lower highs, so we have a trend lower. So now what we have forming is we have 
what we call the 135 pattern. Let me get this one up here, and we'll bring this up to show you this will be another pattern that we could be trading for for tomorrow. Now things have changed because you see we have the ABCD pattern here. We bottomed at 1779. The market should rally no higher than about 1788. We're at 1785 right now. So right around 1788 would be a completion of a pattern. You're selling three lower tops in a downtrend. You're risking three dollars, and that's what you're that's what you're looking for. So I hope to see that. Uh, Mr. Z is asking a question on the bounce to 44.49 to short. Uh, yeah, well, the actually yes, the answer to that question yes, we were. We were re recommending this. Well, I was saying look for a sell up in there around that 44, 49 level. But remember, you got the Fed out there today, so I would not be in this market when the Fed is there today because they, they they're very uh, helter skelter, and I don't like to get involved with the liquidity because you know big traders will not have orders uh, in the market. They won't be in the trade. They'll have orders on either side of the market after the Fed talks. But right when the Fed talks, not many people want to be in that because they can say something that can literally move. I can remember back in, I think it was 96, when uh, at, we're trading live at around 1030 in the morning here in Arizona, and uh, Alan Greenspan ray, uh, dropped interest rates by half a percent, and the S&P left a $50 gap. I mean, it just literally gapped up like I, I'm sure some of you folks remember it, but I don't remember the exact prices, but we left a gap, and that bankrupted so many traders on the uh, floor of the exchange, but no one really cared about that. So that's the way it happened, and that's the way it is. So that's the risk of, you know, things that happen in this business. They're very rare. So I don't like to be around it during Fed time, after Fed time, and no problem at all. No problem at all. So we can certainly uh, uh, get away with that. Anyway, I hope that I hope that helps. Uh, what we're watching here today. Anyway, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. And the other thing you want to watch here is if you're watching this gold chart is watch what folks, the markets do nothing. They repeat over and over again. And if you can start to find some of that repetition, it's going to be very, very helpful for two reasons. One, on your risk control, and two, on what your profit is. Just let me let me give you an example. I'll do it with this gold market since it's doing the right thing. Here is the first, here's the first correction in the gold market. Let me get this up here so you can see it right here. There's your first correction. You see that black line? That went from 85 up to 93, rallied $8. So the next time it rallies, it should rally $8. And I'm going to get it up here right now to get it up here so you can see I'm not making this up. There's your $8. Comes in right at 87. That's all we've been to so far. So it's done exactly the same thing. And if that's the case, then gold should start to come down pretty soon. So now if you're wrong, you know, you only have to risk about three dollars to see if you're wrong there, because if it does something different, you know something's not right, and you want to stay on the side. So I hope you understand that's what we're going to be looking at. So let's keep that in mind as we go through some of these uh, charts that we're looking at today. Uh, one one other person asked a question about the the grain markets, and folks, they're just not acting very well. Let me give you a perfect example here. Uh, I want to get this one up here. This is the uh, lead contract. In the uh, in the uh, bean contracts, which is the November bean contract, I want to get it up here to show you. Remember, these are really bullish reports that we've been getting here, and I want to show you what we've done so far here in the grains. Here is really uh, quite amazing because yesterday's high in the uh, in the grain market was nothing more than a perfect. 61% uh, retracement up there at 13.79. Now we're 23 cents lower than that with really bullish, really bullish report, folks. So that's that's not a very good sign. And you know, of course, today we're down quite a bit. But that's telling us that market should have been screaming, you know, and it didn't. It, that that's a market feedback that uh oh, maybe something's not right, and maybe it's uh, Chinese not buying. Maybe the weather's getting better. Maybe the farmers are. Uh, not reporting like they should, but something's telling us that this is not acting uh, like it should. Now, it, if it holds these levels and goes back up again, yeah, then it looks really bullish. But right now, it's not acting that way. Okay, I hope that helps. All right, we're going to have to take a little break here to pay a few bills, 877-927-6648, and we'll be right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay folks, I posted the daily chart of the Treasury notes. This is the largest of any of the commodities that are traded. It's not the most volatile. The bonds are you know, much more volatile than the notes, but this is the big one. This has got open interest, I think, close to six million, as opposed to four million, four million in the bonds. But the thing is, is that we're looking at um, a really bearish market, folks. We've had a ABCD pattern coming in at the 382 that started back in late March, on the 23rd, and we peaked here just the other day. And you'll notice here we had a little bit of a sell-off, then a three-day rally, and now we're starting to go lower. This is telling us, folks, that interest rates are going higher and not lower. That's the main thing that you want to keep in mind. If you look at this, I'm going to bring this up here on the weekly basis so that you'll be able to see it. I'm not going to draw in the pattern because it's so prevalent that everybody that's ever listened to this show knows what that ABCD is. But you can see here on the weekly basis, it's uh, really quite, quite negative here. Uh, and this tells us that uh, if this thing ever gets above 140, then we're definitely going to have zero interest rates. But why anybody would give you zero interest rates when you had got inflation knocking on the door of 6% and uh, the government printing money faster than the uh, the uh, Fry's supermarket can make tapioca. So, and that happens to be my favorite Thursday treat. Anyway, let's keep in mind here that these are just patterns. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And uh, you want to keep in mind, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't risk. That's the that's the key thing is to what, what do you have at risk? And that's what you really want to try to focus. <laughs> oh. 
excuse me, the old Palo Verdes are back today, so we'll we'll see what happens. Hopefully, if you get a chance, join me tomorrow. We'll have a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll make a few bucks. And I use hopefully uh, very, very strongly because we, wor we work hard to do this, and I think we will uh, have a good day uh, no matter what happens. And then also you'll be able to do it the following time we do this, which will be in the middle of November. I'll probably do the last one, and uh, you'll be able to uh, get them both. So Wealth trade.